I'll be real with you. I'm kind of sick of fuel. I kind of fucking to the point where I would rather eat dog shit than than drink more fuel. It's just so boring to drink the same, to have the same thing all the time. Fifteen seconds. Oh, I guess I didn't format it properly. All right, well, GG. So it's not impossible to make videos on this thing. Like I'm making one right now. Uh, as long as I keep an eye on the recording time, it's a bit of a challenge, but it's possible. And then I have to, between every clip, I have to export the, the file to my computer and then format the camera, which is going to fucking destroy this camera's internal storage very quickly. But fuck it. Uh, my theory so far are that these cards are too fast for the camera to know what to do with, or they're too modern that they don't support the FAT12 file system that this camera uses, uh, because most things don't support FAT12 anymore. It's, to be honest, FAT12 is kind of an obscure file system, even back in 2004. Like, I, as far as I know, even in 2004, people were using uh, FAT16, I think, M more than FAT12. Um, so, so that's my theory, uh, which is going to make recording videos very annoying, but technically possible. Uh, and there's, there's no point recording short clips, because if I record a short clip, then I have no space for another clip. Then my next clip has to be like 30 seconds, which is ridiculous. So I, I, I don't know what, like, yeah. Pretty fucking useless waste of money. The SD cards cost as much as the camera. I mean, it wasn't cheap. I mean, it, it wasn't expensive. Like, I'm, I'm not. It's not like oh, I wasted a bunch of money on it. I wasted eight pounds on it. Uh, I'm just mad because it looks. It look, look. 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 how cool it looks. It looks so cool, but I can't use it for anything. I'm actually pretty pissed off, and here's why. I bought this camera. As you can see, it looks very cool. It's 2004 Sony, Sam, I mean Samsung, what is it, Samsung Digimax 401, uh, because I was like, lo-fi camera from 2004 will look cool, good videos, means I can keep my phone on from fucking recording me by using a, a Jammer app, which I will now do, uh, boom, pow, boom, we're now jamming, so that, oh, I forgot, 2004, only like 6 megabytes of of uh, storage space on the camera. It's fine, I'll put an SD card in. It doesn't support SD cards larger than 2 gigabytes. Don't have any uh, SD cards that are 2 gigs or under, so I'll go buy some. Buy some on Amazon, they, they don't work. This time they actually register. Previously when I put my 4 gigabyte and 32 gig SD card in, the camera wouldn't even turn on. Now it turns on, but it just says card error, um, and I don't know why, uh, and even if I for it lets me format the card, but even if I format it, it just doesn't work, uh, and I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have formatted it, but it doesn't work, it, like it won't work, <laughs> it won't record, it won't move footage to the card, it won't record when the card's pl plugged in, uh, and so I only get like two minutes of recording at a time, which is really fucking annoying. Uh, so there you go. That's this camera for you. Maybe I just end up making very short videos. <laughs>
I'm reading this manga. It's fucking about shit. You don't care. I just know it's the silly juxtaposition between the fact that I'm listening to like 90s hardcore and reading like a Moe manga. Like it just happened like that. I was like, I need to listen to some 90s hardcore. And then I just went back to reading this and then I realized at some point this is kind of a notable combination. I should I should make a note of this. And so this is me noting it. The last E three ever by the looks of this this I'm I've been having a very strange time. Very strange time these past times. Uh when strange times dream like in essence. But it is currently too damn warm. So we're gonna make some changes around here. you out of the denseness after a year of no use since last summer. And there we go. Ready to cool me down through evaporative cooling once more. Let me explain the situation right now because I think I might be living the best life any human being has ever lived. All my ancestors are looking down on me going, yo, he's living a good life right now. Shouts out. Here's where I'm at. We got the, we got the nice PC playing a incremental game on one screen, watching Lawrence of Arabia on the other screen. Great movie, by the way. You don't need me to tell you that. Got my, got my, my black Russian in this glass. Already had one. And I make them strong. <laughs> I make them strong. So, uh, you know, we go in places. Got this guy. We got a meal here that I'm saving. Because I got a pizza in the oven. So I'm going to have the pizza and then I'm going to have the real meal. The real meal. Right there. Um... Got a couple materials. You know, really, this all has got to be. We got all type of shit going on. We got the bitches, even. We got the bitches, even. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. Because you can't fuck with me on this level. You can't fuck with me on this level. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that you can't fuck with me on this level. Okay? I'm on another level. the idea of health. I hate the idea of health. I hate the idea that health is something exclusive. This, like, fucking stupid concept, right? Allow me to elaborate. It's all fucking advertising, marketing bullshit. I fucking hate vegetables with my life. <laughs> Let me explain. I'm... Here's, this, is, this is the solution. So, I've been waiting, like, a week because I've been planning 
to get some fucking takeout sushi. Because last time I got takeout sushi, it was great. And I'm like, I want more sushi. So, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Because I, I can't just be ordering fucking takeout all the time, right? I'm like, i I got to wait at least a week before ordering. You're spending a bunch of money on sushi. It's too much. What if I make it Sushi Tuesday, right? Kind of rhymes. Su sushi Tuesday. Sushi Tuesday kind of works, right? So I'm like, I'll wait until Tuesday, and I'll get some fucking sushi. It'll be great, right? <clears throat> so I wait. It's Tuesday today. I'm like, oh, I wake up. I'm fucking excited. I'm like, hell yeah, you're going to get me some sushi. The place I went to before, which was pretty good, last time I also got an unagi done. That's the whole reason I had sushi is because I, there was like a week and a bit ago, I woke up with a craving for unagi don, and I went online to find a place that would deliver me an unagi don, and they also had sushi, so I was like, fuck it, I'll get some sushi too. Um, that place is closed. I guess they close on Tuesdays for whatever reason. Um, so I, or maybe they just weren't open yet, because only, it was only like four. Anyway, <clears throat> so I went to a different place, which had better reviews. Interesting, better reviews. Uh, so I go, it's it's about the same price for the sushi. They don't do unagi don, but they, they had sushi, so I ordered it. And uh, let me tell you, the sushi, it wasn't actually as much as the other place we'd given me. Uh, the other place that I went to first gave me more sushi, but to be fair, the vast, the biggest chunk of that sushi was a big... <clears throat> like, it came on, you know, they, they give you, like, various different, like, trays of sushi. And the other place, one of them was a tray that was just little, little maki rolls, uh, like, half salmon, half cucumber. Um, so that kind of padded it out, because those are, like, mostly rice with, like, a little bit of salmon in it. And even half of those are just cucumber. So it's, like, they were nice, but they're not really the peak of the meal, you know. They're just kind of to fill you up. <clears throat> they're not sushi sushi, right? Um... So, this place didn't do any mac. Actually, they did do mac rolls, but they were like fancy ones, and they were pretty. They were actually pretty good. But this is this is the problem I'm trying to fucking point out. Sorry, getting off track here. The problem I'm trying to fucking point out is the sushi, the salmon and the tuna and the sea bass, was immaculate. It was really good. It was really good sushi. The the rice, actually, okay. To be fair, the the sashimi, the salmon, the 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 fish was you could tell really high quality. Tasted delicious, melt in the mouth type of good shit. The the rice, it was not exactly packed by an expert sushi maker. The rice kind of fell apart as you were trying to eat it. Very annoying. It was fine tasting, but uh, it was not put together by an expert. You could tell. Um, that's fine. Might have just been because I ordered delivery. Maybe it got rattled around during the delivery. Kind of fell apart. It's acceptable. I'll allow it. If I went to a restaurant, if I went to a sushi bar and it was the rice was falling apart, I would be pissed. But for delivery, I get it. You know, there's, it's going to be rattled around a bit. It's not going to be as tightly packed. I understand. It's fine. So the, the fish was really good. The fish was delicious. However, I get through the fish and what's this? Ooh, what's this to sushi? This looks weird. Oh, there's also prawns. Ebby. Good. What's this? Hmm, this looks strange. Maybe, I don't know. Take a bite. Aubergine. Fucking aubergine. And then another one. Just slices of fucking avocado on rice. What the fuck is this? This ain't fucking sushi. Sushi is not slices of avocado on rice. Sushi is fucking fish. It's fucking fish. At most, you could do egg. At most, egg. And, and and maybe like cucumber rolls, but fucking just not even nothing. Just avoc, just literally slices of avocado, like three slices of avocado, a little band of seaweed, and then a block of rice. That's not fucking sushi. And a fucking oh, that guy's fucking got some base. A fucking slices of fucking aubergine. I like aubergine. I like aubergine. Listen, I like aubergine. It's one of my favorite vegetables. I fucking love aubergine. But I don't want to order sushi and get a fucking aubergine. <laughs> you don't, I, saw, listen, I, I saw it on the thing, and I was like, fuck it. When I bought it, I was like, I'm sure it's just a little thing on the side. But no, 
it was a fucking half the meal was was vegetables. Not really half the meal, but a good chunk. Um, what the fuck is this? I came here to eat fucking raw fish, not fucking vegetables, not fucking avocado. I don't even like avocado. So so yeah, why why? Who started the idea? Like no no one wants that. Let's be honest here. No one wants this. <laughs> no one in the world wants this. No one really wants it. I don't believe it. I do not believe that anyone really is like coming out of that and they're like, oh man, that avocado, three slices of avocado, no, no sauce, no nothing, just three slices of avocado on some rice. That was the best part of the meal. No one is fucking saying that. Not a single person is walking away from this meal saying, oh man, I loved it when they put three slices of avocado on some rice. That was the best bit. No. You know why it's there? It's there to give the illusion that it's healthy. And it's there so that when, when you go there, you order, oh, let me get some avocado ones. And you, like, impress your friends by, by how healthy you are. Or you impress yourself. Even worse. You impress the big other. You're like, well, the big other will, will come at me if I'm not eating vegetables. So let me get the avocado one. Let me get the, the aubergine one. No one fucking wants this. It's stupid. Just give me fish on rice. That's what sushi is. Fish and rice. <sighs> shameful. Actually shameful. Can't believe it. I mean, the, the sushi, like, I can't complain that much because the sushi was really good. There was actually sushi. The fish and rice, that was actually really good. Very tender fish. The, the, the tuna, not the best I've ever had. That would be in Japan when I had proper bluefin endangered species where you're, like, you're eating it and you're like, mmm, tastes like genocide. Like that shit, fresh. Let me tell you about the time I had sushi in Japan. In Japan, go to the fucking fish market at 6 a.m. We get up 6 a.m. We get up 5:30. We're we're walking along with all the Saturday man, right? There's there's Saturday man fucking everywhere. A crowd, like a herd, herds of Saturday man, all fucking walking in the same direction. And then us, random white tourists in fucking shorts and, and Hawaiian shirts and shit, fucking speed walking. Why? To the fish market, round the past the fish market, little round the corner, little back alley, sushi bar, 6 a.m. Fresh fish, just caught. Oh, fresh fish. There's a guy in there. It's fucking like 6:30 at this point. There's one guy in there. Salary man, big bottle of asahi, big fucking bottle of. Uh, actually, it might have been. Uh, I don't know. I think it was beer, some kind of beer. A, a, a big bottle of beer, sushi. That's it. Just him, in the corner at the back, and us. And the fucking sushi guy. That was the best fucking sushi it's possible to eat. That's the best sushi it's possible to eat. And that was a, that was amazing. That was like a fucking godly experience. That was a that was a once in a lifetime experience. <sighs> Just thinking about it. it makes me a bit emotional. God damn it, Roy! I want sushi <laughs> in Japan, fresh. Just caught. Good as fuck. Anyway, that was still good, though. I'm not complaining about my sushi. Because remember, I said it was good. It was just that it's weird that they feel the need to give you fucking weird-ass, hipster-ass vegetable shit. They also play in some games. They played some games. They play in some white people games. I saw on their, their little menu, they had some, like, sus shit. Like, uh, lots of shit just came with avocado for no reason. I was looking at, through the menu... They had, like, these big big rolls. I forgot what they're called. Like, dragon rolls, I think they called them. I don't think they're real sushi, but whatever. Big dragon rolls. And one of them had hummus in it. And I was like, this is some white people shit, man. Fucking hummus? Are you serious? Like, what the fuck is that? You're playing games. Like, you're trying to play some games, right? But I can't get too mad because they, like... I would get mad if they didn't have strong basics. But the the salmon and tuna, which is like the basics of sushi, were great salmon and tuna. So I can't complain. It's like, well, even you've got it, you've got it down. You're just trying to play a little games with it. You're trying to get a little too fancy with it. Like I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't fuck with that. But listen, if you got a strong base, like go ahead. You know, you you got a strong base, so I'll allow it. I'll allow you to play some games because you've proven yourself with it. That you understand the basics, and they did understand the basics. But. I wish I just stuck with the basics. <laughs> I wish I hadn't ordered the one with fucking vegetables on rice. Kill yourself, stupid bitches. Now, none of that in Japan. 
none of that in Japan. Went to Japan, ate sushi, loads of different fish, loads of them. I'm talking everything you could imagine. Sea bass, salmon, tuna, two, three different types of tuna, right? All of them delicious, all toro, right? Amazing, best sushi I've ever had. Fucking, um, ebi, uh, fucking, what else? Sea urchin. I don't, I don't really like sea urchin that much, but I had it anyway because you got to try it. Uh, yeah, bruh, bruh, fucking great. But that sushi was good. I'm complaining about the vegetables, but I'm more complaining about culture, the cultural idea that the the uh that fancy food has to be healthy because health is considered like an exclusive thing for the for the, the middle classes. It's like, oh I'm middle class, so I have to uphold the uh the the idea that I, I embody health and wellness. <clears throat> so it's like gotta eat fucking disgusting avocado and pretend it's good. I got nothing against avocado. Well, actually, I don't like avocado. But I got nothing against aubergine. I'll eat aubergine in a in an aubergine dish. I will fucking hella eat aubergine. You know what? I had like aubergine lasagna once. Amazing, like one of the great great lasagna. It had it was like vegetarian. It had aubergine instead of uh, mince. Um, great, delicious. Right, the whole dish was built around the existence of having an aubergine in it. This. This is fucking sushi. <clears throat> you know why sushi was invented? Do you know why? They they took the fish and they were like, this is back in the day before refrigeration. Back in the day, I'm talking a long time ago. Got to store the fish to keep it. Put it in a wooden box. Get some rice. Soak the rice in vinegar. Pack the fish with the vinegar-soaked rice so that the fish doesn't go off. Then when you would want to eat the fish, you would dig it out of the, the rice, and it would be, like, covered in, in a, a layer of, of this vinegar-soaked rice. And at first, people didn't want to eat it, but then, obviously, people ended up, there were, like, bits stuck to the fish, and they'd eat it, and they'd be like, hmm, this vinegar-soaked rice with fish actually goes really well together. That was the origin of sushi. Then, Edo period, in Edo, and the Bay of Edo, Tokyo Bay today, right, very busy port, loads of people, very busy people, they they want to get a quick snack during their lunch break or whatever, so they invent this new type of sushi, which is finger sized, right? Smaller. They they used to be bigger than they are now. They, like the the original ones, they were about twice the size of the the current modern sushis, um, but th these were still much smaller than just eating a whole fish. Uh, and that's how sushi was invented. You'd, you'd go up there and they'd quickly make it for you, and you'd have a quick snack on your your break or whatever, because you didn't have time because you were busy because you were working the docks. No, no point, and you know, be fresh caught fish from the harbor. At no fucking point, at no fucking point, is any of this fucking avocado, fucking aubergine, fucking avocado. The the avocado has got me fucking triggered. And hummus? Are you kidding me? Imagine putting hummus in sushi. That's that's, that's you got to have some some balls on you. That but that I didn't get it. I didn't get that one because I because obviously I didn't. But. Man, yeah, I'm a traditionalist when it when it comes to this shit. You gotta keep it fucking real. Can someone tell me how the fuck to be good at this video game? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, but it's also not a video game you can play one-handed. So now you will see me be very bad at it. This is my this chat. We use the 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 pinky to for the throttle, and then we steer with the thumb. Uh, okay. But, Eve, okay, I'm gonna put, is there some way I can, here's my Pyrex full of porridge. Disgusting, disgusting porridge. Because uh, I put way too much sugar in it by mistake, because I spilled the sugar while I was putting it in the porridge. Okay, now you will see that me actually trying to play is not very much better than me playing with one hand. I don't understand how the fuck you're supposed to get good at this game. I've played this game for like a week now, and I just suck at it. I don't understand. It seems like like cars just sort of like spin out of fucking control if you're if you're off by like a a fucking pixel. Look, I just about managed to control. I was like so close to spinning out there. 
It's ridiculous. And I've been going fucking insane. Look, you you just like you 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 miss like one fucking little input, and you just like oh I hit a, a tiny fucking ridge, and now I'm spinning out. And this is with all of the like helper settings on. I, I'm good at driving games. Like I'm good at kart racing games. Every every like arcadey driving game I've ever played, I've I've found it that I'm good at it. But this is like the first like sim racing game. Well, I played um a bit of Gran Turismo, like, with friends and, and been shit at that, too. But I was pretty young, and so I, I don't count that. This is the... Look, you just fucking spin out, and there's nothing you can do about it. I... I yeah, this this game is very confusing. The difficulty in this game doesn't make sense. I don't understand the call-outs that, that the, my, my co-conspirator in the car makes. He just says things. He's like, Sammy... Sammy, you're breaking the car, Sammy. You're going to break the car, Sammy. Listen to what I'm saying, Sammy. That's what he says, and it's very confusing. Um, although I just seem to have set some sort of record, personal best type record. Okay, now, one thing I figured out is that you don't want to be doing that. <laughs> you want to, like, when you turn, you have to, like, n n not just do, like, like, sharp turn straight to 256 you you want to like ease into the turns and that seems to help with understeer um but but as you can see <laughs> this game is fucking impossible i've been going a bit nuts recently i i fucked myself no my car is okay my tires are still attached I'm so fucking hungry, I think. I'm something. I'm fucking sideways is what I am. I'm going a little bit, bit schizo. I'm so, I'm very hungry, I think, that I want either chicken or pizza, and I don't want to eat any food that isn't either of those foods. And I just had pizza yesterday, and I'm fat, and I've given up on caring that I'm fat, but... Um, I, I guess, I, look, I didn't even do anything that time. It just decided to spin me out. We've just given up on life here, is what's happened. Oh, my wheel's fucking broken. All right, let's get, let's stop doing that. Let's stop doing this. No one wants to see this. And definitely no one wants to see this. I'll tell you that much. Definitely no one. I don't want to see it. I don't know why it's there. I didn't put it there. We've been fucking around with some shit we shouldn't have been fucking around with over here, okay? And it's kind of fucked me up. It's kind of got me fucked, but we've had to do these things out of necessity. Timber, his arms wide. I do what I have to do to survive out here in the jungle. My vape is vaping in strange and pneumatic ways. And Dr. Pepper doesn't know what's going on. You can't ask him for advice. I tried to talk to Glenn, but Glenn wouldn't answer. Hey, Glenn, what's the meaning? He never speaks. He never speaks in words, only dreams. <laughs> I asked Wrigley for help. I asked Wrigley for help, but he was of no use. So I turned to the Germans. But they didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Maybe the Canadians can figure it out. <laughs> but they just called me a monster. <laughs> and kicked me out of the house. So now I'm stuck here in Paris. And I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> This is the funniest thing that's ever happened, but only to me. Oh, man. So, here's the dealio. At about midnight, I made my oatmeal and Pyrex. I also decided that I wanted some Red Bull, but my Red Bull is non not in the house. It is in the shop still. I need to go to the shop so I can get it in the house so I can get it in the stomach. In order to go to the shop, the shop has to be open. Now, this is where the problem lies, as you see, because the shops are not open at 4.30 in the a.m. They are open at 7 in the a.m., and that is many hours 
that is many hours later, and I have nothing to do, and no one's posting good YouTube videos, and I don't have anything interesting to watch or do or anything, so I've been rotating between the same couple of video games uh, over and over again, and none of them are particularly interesting to me right now. Um, and so I downloaded some new video games, and uh, and as soon as I downloaded them, I realized that I wasn't in the mood to play them. And I'm trying to think of what I would normally do in a situation, uh, but and I think what I would normally do is drink alcohol, but I don't have that option right now because all well, the alcohol is also in the shops where the Red Bull is, so we don't have that option, um, and I don't have any options, and none of my options exist. So instead, I am optioning off my whereabouts. If you want to know where I am, or want to come to my house so you can have a fight with me, uh, we can record it. We can do a, a Denver boxing event, Denver MMA fight, in my house, on the stairs. And then I'm going to kick you down the stairs, and it won't be murder. It would be manslaughter, and I'll go to jail. And then I'll get to talk to all the people in jail, and they'll be like, what did you get in for? And I was like, they couldn't handle me out there, man. I was too much for them. And that's what's going to happen. So let's not do that. Instead, I'm just trying to listen to the birds chirp and figure out how the fuck to play this game properly. <sighs> trying not to let it overwhelm me. I should probably put on some music. That would probably help me out. I don't really have any music that I'm... Music ain't grabbing me no more. No one makes any good music anymore. I'm a boomer now. I've I've discovered that I'm a boomer. I hate all this shit that the hip kids are into. All their music sounds like noise to me. I don't even know what young people listen to anymore. No, The thing is, I think music has stopped existing. Because I went on Mew... I was, I was today, earlier today, I was having the same thought. I was like, you know, there doesn't seem to have been any, like, since 100 Gex, nothing has, like, maybe Blady. Nothing's popped, you know? Nothing's popped. Like, Death Grip's popped. There's been no big rallying cry around music. Nothing interesting has happened. So I go on Mew, I'm like, maybe I've just, I must have just missed it, right? Someone must be making good music. For God's sake, someone must be making good music. And it's nothing. There's absolutely fuck all. Zero, zilch, zero, nothing, null, nothing. Zero. New good music. People are talking about some bad music that's new, but I'm not interested in the bad music that's new. I want to know about the good music that's new. And people are talking about the old music that's good, but I've already heard the old music that's good. Where's the new music that's good? I'll tell you. They're trying to make me make it. But I can't make it right now. I can't fucking make it right now. So someone else has to make it for me. And no one else is stepping up to the fucking plate. So I'm stuck here. No music. No video game to understand. No alcohol. No food. No Red Bull. No bun. 18 pickles. And what am I supposed to do with myself? Eh? I already asked all these people from every nation. And they couldn't give me an explanation. And so I'm stuck in tarnation. You see, it's all about that and not about this. And so in order to get pizza and chicken, I have to wait. And in order to wait, I need entertainment. And in order to entertain myself, I need someone to sustain myself. But I can't sustain myself on air. I need chicken to sustain myself. And the chicken is over there in the shop. We figured this out already. We've already gone over this. Why can't you understand? I've told you already. It doesn't work. None of this works. <sighs> and so here we are, once again, for the Renegade Master. <clears throat> I've seriously not mentioned this once, and it's kind of weird that I haven't mentioned it once. I'm losing a bunch of money on Patreon right now, although I'm amazed that pe people are still subscribed to my Patreon despite me having not posted in months. Uh, the reason is not... Well, at first the reason was because I wasn't making music, I didn't have anything to post. But I have a much better reason now, because I have been making music, but I physically can't fucking post it, because the Patreon website just does not work on any web browser that I own, for some reason. It won't let me sign in 
to Patreon to post anything. And I, I have uh, emailed their support team. They never, they, they would, they sent me some generic response email and then never went further than that. The, the fucking website is broken and I cannot log into Patreon to give you the things that you are paying for. So don't, if you want things, go switch to Lib, Libera Pay, right? Get a great fucking website, better than Patreon doesn't use non-free JavaScript or anything like that. If you were to fucking pay me, I think they also do crypto. Um, I have an account on there. It's on my Neo Cities. It's linked there. Uh, uh, I haven't posted anything there because no one's ever followed me on LiberaPay. But uh, if you want to, that option is there. And uh, if people start following me, I will fucking post there because then I know that there's actually a desire for it. Um, okay. That's my fucking rant. Ah, fucking fuck Patreon, but I want money. I need money. The internet is way too fucking centralized. It's not just the inter like the internet that you think of when you think of the internet. I'm not just talking about everyone's on Twitter, everyone's on Instagram, everyone's on TikTok. I'm talking about everything about the internet. As a great example of this, let's look at uh, matchmaking in uh, online video games, PC games. Uh, modern PC games by default have to have matchmaking. It's unimaginable that a, a modern online shooter would, like Counter-Strike, for example, would release without matchmaking. But they didn't used to have that. They didn't used to have Valve official servers, you know? It was just a thing and a server software, and if you want to get your own server and run your own... It's like Minecraft. Everything was like Minecraft ignoring Minecraft realms. That's how everything used to be. And yes, it was kind of annoying in a lot of ways, and it, it uh, probably gatekept uh, and reduced profits for the company that owned the games. However, there's a great image online somewhere, if I remember I'll put it up in the video here, I don't think I will, uh, where, where, which goes uh, through like how this ruined everything. Uh, because all of these different people, uh, types of people who would play an online video game, I'm also playing an online video game right now, um, who would play an online video game, uh, used to not bother each other, but now all bother each other. So it was like, for example, there might be someone who just plays the game sort of casually, likes to sort of fuck around, have fun, not like take the game seriously, but also not like, you know, like kind of kind of like how I used to play CSGO for most of the time. If you've seen my video about CSGO and depression, like someone who likes to sort of fuck around, not take the game too seriously, but also a bit of a troll, right? You got that. Then you got uh, the stoner who just wants to like play the same map over and over again and just sort of like hang out and listen to music and you know vibe uh, have like and talk with with like people online then you have like the self improver who wants to get competitive at the game and, and takes the game really seriously and wants to like calm with his team and and stuff like this and then you have the new player who um you know tries out a bunch of different stuff, tries out a bunch of different servers, and eventually finds their server. Now, I don't know if you've ever actually played a game like this, which I, which doesn't have matchmaking, but finding your server is an extremely gratifying experience. You can make very good friends that way. It's sort of like discovering a community. You go into the same server every day with the same people, you slowly make friends, it's great fun. And they find their server that suits their playstyle and uh, their lifestyle, you know, because time zones obviously matter here. Uh, and, and how long you want to play and stuff. And now, all of these people are forced to be in the same place together. And so, the the troll is like, why does everyone take the game so fucking seriously and try hard? Doesn't anyone just want to have fun? The, the stoner is just trying to vibe while people are like arguing because the the, the hardcore player is shouting at the troll and the stoner to, to be like, Come on, man, take the game fucking seriously. Don't mic spam, you know, give give call-outs. You're shit, you're shit, or whatever. And then the new player turns the game off because they say, look, it's a good game, but the community is so toxic. And that's, the, that's what the image says, and it's so true. And this is not just, obviously, this is not just true of, 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 of video games. This is true of the entire internet. All of these people who, you know, all of my good friends online, I met in very specific communities that were oriented around very specific things, uh, like hobbies and, and stuff. Like most of my friends online I met because we were both into the same 
uh, anime YouTuber. My girlfriend as well. Uh, and some of them because we both happen to go on the same sort of image boards and be in the same sort of niche image board sphere of the internet. Uh, whereas, you you can't make... You, who makes friends on Twitter is what I'm asking. No one. People who make friends on Twitter, they're assholes. They're fucking like Kefi people. If you know who the fuck Kefi is and you know like Kefi's group of people, they're fucking assholes. You might think they're cool because they post on Twitter. They're dickheads. You don't want to get involved with them. Except one of them. Someone called Angie, who's kind of cool. But, um... Other than that person, they all fucking suck. I hate all of them. Um... And that's just like one random group of Twitter friends. Twitter friends are the most disgusting, disgraceful group of human beings in the fucking universe. Uh, and of course, back in the day, this used to all be... I mean, Discord's kind of bring this back, but there's a bunch of problems with Discord as a platform, uh, which is essentially that it, it inherits all the problems of... Uh, damn, I just kind of popped off. <laughs> uh, it inherits all the problems of forums, and then introduces extra problems and doesn't solve any of the problems of forums. Uh, the only problem of forums, problem of forums it solves, is having to create an account and uh, put effort into stuff like uh, uh, your signature on a forum, which was a great way to, to express yourself. But no one can express themselves on the internet anymore. Uh, every form of self-expression is being dismantled in favor of uh, dumbed down baby bitch bullshit. And, um, how do we solve this problem? I don't fucking know, 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 I don't fucking know how to solve this problem. I don't know if this is a problem that's solvable, I think everything's just fucked. Everyone sort of has it in their head that one day we're gonna end up on, like, a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized internet, and everything's gonna be great. But the problem is, that is something that's very expensive and not very profitable. Uh, this is like one of the good things, like sort of good things about crypto, is that it was making a decentralized internet profitable. The problem is, it was making it so that uh, we were the ones paying for those profits. Every, it, it sucked, it sucked and it was bad. But I'm glad that's over, I'm glad no one does crypto anymore, because everything crashed and nothing's worth anything anymore. Um, I hope, please, please God, don't make crypto come back. Although, though, I, I like some things about crypto, but I don't have to fucking... You're, you're, you're as tired as I am of hearing about fucking crypto shit. I'm sure you are. Um, so, it's gonna be like CG day, CJDNS or like uh, fucking something like this. I don't know, some sort of mesh networks like they're doing in Chile or wherever the fuck they're doing mesh networks that are cool. But that takes a lot of hardware and a lot of hobbyists to set up and then everyone else to take advantage of the work of the hobbyists and then that will ruin it when all the normies come along. And, um, you know, I don't know anything about networking and I need to learn about networking, but learn about networking is such a vague fucking thing that I don't even know where to start because net networking is such a broad topic in computer science that, like, it's impossible to know when to st where to even begin to learn about this stuff. And especially since I have no programming so it's like a weird intersection of hardware and software, uh, like you, you need to know like some electrical engineering, you need to know a bunch of programming, you need to know a bunch of shit that I don't know fuck all about. I'm a fucking musician. Um, how can you expect me to, to know about any of this shit? All I can do is keep an eye on it and support it when it comes up by, by being there. Um, um, but none of it's good enough yet, and also because it's all peer-to-peer, -peer, localization actually matters. Now, Nick Land thinks... <laughs> that the splinter net is going to solve this problem. That where when different countries cut off their own internets and then after that different communities cut off their own internets, it's going to solve this problem. But I think he's fucking wrong because I don't agree with any... Uh, because being in the same country as someone says nothing about how much you agree with them. Um, especially because, like, I don't have a single online friend who's British. Um, all my online friends are not from this country. Uh, just because you're from the same country as someone doesn't... Yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking retarded. He's a retard. Um, they're all fucking retarded. Anyone who claims to be smart is, is dumber than anyone who claims to be dumb. I don't know if Nick Land claims to be smart, but I don't like him anymore. I've decided just now. He, he said some funny things in the 90s about lemurs, and that's about it.
So it's going to be something like that, and it's not going to be profitable, so no one's going to want to do it except for hobbyists. And I'm supposed to be the hobbyist, but I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to do anything, so how am I supposed to make it? Oh, hey, no thank you. Fix everything. That's what the world is telling me. Hey, it's your job to save the world. And I'm like, no, no, I'm just a guy. I don't know how to save the world. I try. Okay, I make a Denpa mob. I make a little place for all of the Denpas to list all of their websites. And I, I try and make it so that we're not just a bunch of YouTube channels, but a collective, an art movement, a something, a fucking anything that's tangible, that's that's notable, but it never fucking works. Because only I, only I know what I want in my own head, and I can't talk about it because other people want different things. And it's like, I can't just force it on them. They don't want that, I don't want that, no one wants that. And so I'm just like, and, and different people, like, this is one of the weird things about, about this whole situation. What, you know, for my, for my childhood, for growing up, I was the smartest person I knew. You don't want to be the smartest person you know. That sucks. I am now far from the smartest person I know. And um, this, is, this is great and all. But the problem is, I can't keep up with any of you people. <laughs> you, you, some of you know how to program, some of you know all of this shit. Like, what do I fucking know how to do? Make better music than any of you, that's it. The only thing I can make that's better than any of you is music, and music is fucking nonsense. It's intangible, it's made up, and I can't even do that anymore, as we've talked about in my previous video about CSGO and depression. We, bo we, both, we, we both know here that nothing good is going on. One of the ways they get you, one of the ways they get you, and how you don't want to get got, is, uh, in fact, maybe the main way they get you. The, oftentimes, the reason I find myself visiting Twitter.com is, is because I think, I wonder what people are up to these days. Like, I wonder what's popular right now. I, I wonder if what I'm missing out on by not being on Twitter or social media or communicating with the wider internet at all, except for YouTube. This is how they get you. This is what the centralized internet is designed to do. It's designed to give you FOMO. You know about FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. It's designed to make you feel like there's always something going on that you're not aware of and people are going to think you're not cool if you're not aware of it. It's also interesting that the, that the internet as it exists today, remember back in the day on 4chan when being an old fag was a big honor. We all bow down to our elders, the old fags. Whereas now on 4chan, what do you not want to be? A boomer. Although there is some counter signaling with regards to that. Right, you understand here. Right now the internet celebrates youth. You don't want to feel old, do you? Better keep up with the newest memes. Better keep up with the newest... Tr you're not on TikTok? You're not on TikTok? But you're going to miss out on the, the TikTok memes. You're going to miss out on the TikTok memes. You've got, you've got to fucking download TikTok. you got to watch TikTok compilations on YouTube so that you can keep up with the memes. Because, because what happens if, if you're in a text channel on Discord and everyone's sharing memes and you don't have any? Then you look like the you look like the dickhead who doesn't know about memes, right? You look like not not to don't worry about how none of these things are memes. These are just funny videos, mildly entertaining videos. They're not memes. Memes are a, a thing. Memes are when uh, they they're all based around referential humor. They're all based around uh, a meme is is the it's like memetics. It's the idea version of genetics. It's an evolving idea. A meme is something like. Wojak or Pepe or 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 or, or the, the, the troll face, right? These are memes. I'll tell you, it's not a meme. The unusual meme compilations on YouTube—they're not memes. They're just funny animal videos. They're not memes, and they're not funny animal videos either. They're they're, they're like mildly entertaining animal videos at best. But you don't want to be the guy in the Discord chat who doesn't have the funniest memes. If you're the guy with the funniest memes, you're the guy with the most clout. And a meme just means a short MP4 video, not an image anymore. Well, we're way past images and don't know what's a GIF. <gasps> we don't do those anymore, they don't even have sound. How are you supposed to make a funny thing without sound, without, without the Vine Boom sound effect? How is it supposed to be funny if it doesn't have the fucking Vine Boom sound effect? <sighs> Don't let them get to you. Break away. 
But also, there's a counterpoint to this, which is some people get so fed up with this whole situation that they seal themselves away in their own little clique, right? They seal themselves away in their own little clique. And you don't want to be one of those guys either, because when you're one of those guys, as soon as you interact with someone outside of your little clique, you seem like an asshole to everyone. Um, and and because you're in your little clique, it works literally like a cult. I've been there. It works a lot like a cult. You start to think, well, everyone who's not in my clique just thinks I'm an asshole because they just don't get it like we get it. No. If you're in a clique where you're just in a sort of like an echo chamber type environment, you can't evolve because you can't get external stimuli. You're only getting internal stimuli, and there's only so much you can learn from within. This is why psychedelics can't teach you actual truths about the external world. They can only teach you truths about the internal world, because you can't gain new information unless you're, I don't know, reading a book on psychedelics. But in terms of like being in the headspace of self-discovery and introspection, that's as much as you can do, and that's really important. And it's important to have a clique of people that you can be insulated with, and like-minded fellows a group, a scene, right? That's important. But it's also equally important to get ideas from outside of that clique and to, to interact with the, the, the wider world. But you don't want to interact with everyone in the fucking universe. Like, just because I want to interact with the wider world sometimes doesn't mean I want a website where everyone in the world is shouting their ideas in 280 characters at me at all times. I don't fucking want that, please. Thank you. I want... Like, maybe a, a nice, comfortable middle ground. Uh, yeah, a nice, comfortable middle ground. I have those. I have a few middle grounds. I'm not going to share them because you'll go there and you'll fuck them up for me. And I, then there's not that many of them left. There used to be a bunch. There's not that many of them left. I don't want you fucking them up, so I'm keeping them in here. I'm keeping my middle grounds in here and you can go fuck yourself. This is the coolest looking shit ever. <laughs> I believe this is a bit of a center for thought crimes. Uh, I'll get back to that video in a second. We're just recording an ending to this video right now. I'm trying to record an ending for my own video. Jelaine, why did you leave my, my, my fucking element room? Come back. We miss you. Jelly Lane Caucasian. Come back to my element room. I'm trying to have discussions. I never post there really, except for random bullshit. That's not true. I post there all the fucking time. I post there all the fucking time. Let's get back to the truth of the matter at hand. I post there all the fucking time. The aesthetic of like torch on the phone light in the dark room with the ThinkPad. That's not a ThinkPad. Go that out of here. <sighs> it's a good aesthetic. But none of my ThinkPads are in operational order right now. This baby, as you can see from this baby, this baby wire is the headphone wire, and that's just a minor annoyance. And this baby's uh, running Alpine, which is not a usable distribution of Linux. So I'm thinking of switching to something more usable because of the, because I've decided that being able to actually use my computer is more important to me than looking cool on 4chan. And I already have the screenshots. I mean, I have the screenshots to post in the desktop thread, so do I really need a, a computer that breaks every month because the devs decide to change something about Alpine? I'm sure it's a good distro for someone smarter than me, but uh, I think a distro where video breaks twice in the space of two months 
like just being able to watch a video breaks twice in the space of two months is not something that I can call usable for daily driving. So I was thinking of going with void, but at this point, oh wait, I just remembered I can't, fuck, I hate computers. Anyway, it is what it is. The important case in point here is that we're cased, we're pointed, I got pizza in the oven, the pizza all happened, we're putting on this album, we're jamming. Is this going to get a copy strike? Am I going to get a copy strike? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to get a copy strike. Skip forward a little bit to the important part. Yeah, baby. Guess what we're drinking on? That Japanese bullshit. I'm on that Japan. I'm off that Katakuchi, bitch. <laughs> Let me sniff your Katakuchi. Alright, this is the ending of the video, I suppose. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't make the questions, I just provide the answers. You, That's up to you to decide.